This is the third video on the MGEG and mod section of the MS-20. I want to focus on the behavior of Envelope Generator 2 because it's not like a normal Envelope Generator that you're usually familiar with in a subtractive analog synthesizer. So let me run through how I have this patch set up to help illustrate the behavior of Envelope Generator 2. I have in the patch panel Envelope Generator 1 controlling the initial gain of the output. And then I have Envelope Generator 1 as my voice allocation envelope, and it's just set up to act like a gate. No attack, no release. Envelope generated 2 has its attack time at half, same with the decay, and then the sustain level to start with, I'm going to actually have it on zero, and then the release, of course, there's not going to be any. So I have the filter cutoff at halfway closed with resonance on full, and then the envelope generator intensity. We're going to have it at full, but I'm going to increase it slowly to help illustrate again what's happening with envelope generator 2. So in this basic setup, you're, the behavior is going to be exactly how you would expect. So increasing the envelope generator 2 intensity on filter cutoff, well, first of all, let's leave it off and hit a key. And we just hear a sawtooth running through a halfway closed filter. And then turning it up is going to give us positive modulation, making the, according to the parameters of envelope generator 2, making the cutoff sweep up, then go back down. Of course, going higher with more envelope intensity. Now I set up an instance of L1 with the same behavior. Uh, envelope generated 2 has positive modulation. And then, to hear what that sounds like, if we had no intensity, of course we would hear no change. And then with more intensity, we hear higher and higher sweeps of the filter cutoff. The filter opening more and more with more envelope generated intensity. To hear what those sound like back to back. That was AL1, here's MS20. Here are them both together. So they sound pretty much exactly the same. I mean, other than the obvious differences in squelch. So let's change the sustain level of envelope generated 2 on the MS20. And let me just make sure I muted. Yeah, I did mute. So we have sustain level in half. That's weird. I can't see my parameter level. So let me, why can't I see what's going on here? There we go. So now you would expect generally in any other synthesizer more envelope intensity would simply make this sweep up and then rest with half sustain somewhere around here. Or if we had it on full intensity, of course, it would rest exactly halfway between being totally open and being at its initial state. But with the MS-20, with the sustain level on half, this will actually make the attack start level start below the original parameter value and then raise above it and then rest where it's at. And this strange behavior is, beca is because the sustain level of envelope generated 2 actually is always 0 volts. So 0 volts means no change in parameter. So whatever that envelope is patched into, the sustain level will always be the original value of whatever parameter it's patched into. So when we turn up the envelope generated intensity, we'll actually hear the cutoff point start lower instead of it going higher and higher. And to hear what a full sweep sounds like. So going to AL1, where I have an envelope set up exactly the same way, go to my filter, filter modulation, and that would be envelope generator 3.
and to show what envelope generator three looks like, we can see that the sustain is at zero. And then the attack is actually starting below and then it's raising above and then resting at the original parameter level. So going to filter and listening to what that sounds like. We hear no change in, mo in cutoff frequency. And then we'll hear it start lower and lower as I raise the intensity level. And then a full sweep. And let's listen to those back to back. At the same time. Very nice. All right, now if we want to jump back to the MS-20 and put sustain on full, we'll hear something super weird. So sustain being at full, and of course sustain being zero volts uh, and resting at whatever value we have originally, means that the more we increase intensity, of course, we're going to start lower and lower, uh, and then we're going to end here. You would expect it to simply climb and end at where the the cutoff frequency was originally, but it'll actually overshoot very slightly. It's very strange behavior of the MS-20. So just listen carefully. You'll you'll actually hear the decay come into effect. Usually, an unusual synthesizer, as I'm sure you already know, if the sustain level is at full, then the decay time doesn't matter because it doesn't have a level to drop down into. So let's listen to this real fast. Now you actually do hear it drop into a sustain level, even though it's at full. And let me increase the decay time so you can really hear it. And again with the decay at half. So yet again, I have an envelope set up in AL1 to illustrate what's going on. It's going to be envelope generator one. And uh, I think filter, yeah, modulation is all the way up. So you can see that where our start point is below our regular parameter level is below where our parameter level is set. And then it raises above ever so slightly, just attack at plus, the attack level at plus nine. And then the attack time at 57 and the decay at 68. And of course, if I were to turn decay up, Okay, and then hearing what those sound like back to back. Both at the same time. So they sound exactly the same. So the, the important thing to understand is that the envelope generator 2 is capable of bipolar modulation, depending on the sustain level. So if the sustain level is at halfway, you can kind of think of the intensity knob then controlling how far away the attack start and end point are from the original parameter level. So the more I turn this up, the lower it'll start and the higher it'll go before resting, before the sustain level again rests at the original parameter level. Um, and that would be a, a kind of bipolar modulation that you can see, luckily, in AL1's very um, capable and diverse envelopes. Usually, an envelope will only be unipolar and only affect a parameter in a single direction. And AL1 actually has an envelope very much like that in its amp, 
the amp doesn't allow bipolar modulation. It's only in a positive direction. Because um, obviously negative amplitude is... Well, negative amplitude could kind of be thought of as a phase-flipped uh, version of the signal, but that's not very um, useful for the amp envelope when you can just, you know, flip phase in the mixer section, but that's a bit out of depth. Basically, you have a unipolar envelope most of the time, and then because of the strange behavior of the MS-20, you have a bipolar envelope, kind of like the other envelopes, which are capable of bipolar modulation in AL1. I'm afraid that I might have confused you with that last bit there, but I think you probably have a pretty decent understanding of it through all of these examples. So, again, looking at envelope generator 2, if we ever have the sustain level at anything other than its minimum and maximum level, actually really at anything other than its minimum level, then we'll always get a kind of bipolar modulation where the intensity knob will go outwards away from the original parameter value. And that includes, you know, something like the sustain level at just a quarter of the way. That means that we'll still start at a lower, uh, lower level from the original parameter value and then raise mostly up, but it'll still be bipolar nonetheless. Of course, the distance away from the original parameter level being dictated by the envelope generated intensity. So that's the best way that I can put it. Uh, the manual has a really good graphic in there. I actually can show you real fast. Let me try to find it. This graphic. So this perfectly illustrates the behavior of envelope generated 2. You can see that the sustain is always going to be is always going to have no change in frequency and then you get of course positive or negative change depending on where the where the level is at so study this graph and experiment with envelope generator 2 and you'll get a hang of it in no time it's very idiosyncratic very different from normal envelope behavior but very interesting and very unique to the ms20 and it gives it a lot of character so thank you for watching this i'll uh come out with another video next week and take care.